Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Gamer Grudge. It's mine. It's mine. It's mine. mine. Uh, welcome to uh, Max Baby Cries. <laughs> it's still my baby. Nah, nah. Yeah. Go ahead. It's, it's your show. Go ahead. Yeah, it's mine right now. Um, so this is a, a canned episode, as it were, which means I get to uh, change every change all the rules and not let anyone know. Um. What the crap? I didn't. I didn't sign up for this bull crap. <laughs> you signed up? Did you? Did you not say I get? I get my. I didn't, we didn't sign no dang contracts. Mm-hmm. Follow the rules. The rules well, are cited. Well, <laughs> the person who is going to aid me up in pointing, uh, taking a sharp stick and pointing right in Max's eye will be Angie. Hey, hey hi, Angie. Hey, Andrew. <laughs> Uh, and our two lovely, lovely contestants. Lovely? I don't know. About that not right. Yeah, lovely oh, three contestants. Oh, he's trying to kick me out. Oh. I, I, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I said contestants, not, not I, I mean, not un, uh, unaided children. Um, Screw you. <laughs> so, uh, Scott, will you introduce yourself and what you do? Uh, hi, I'm Scott. I am Jubaka Defense on Twitter, and uh, I'm an aspiring screenwriter. Aspiring okay. screenwriter. Okay. <laughs> uh, Ryan? Hi, guys. It's the reigning champion. God help me. As of the time. As of the time of recording. This is going to be a great little tune up. Because my biggest fear of defending the belt was not getting to any matches beforehand. This is going to be great. I love the Jubaka defense, too. Like, that Twitter handle has been great for years. So it's so it's going to be so much fun um, conversing with you. And I am, I guess, an aspiring director. So we should work together on something. <laughs> Definitely. And uh, the person over there. The, the one, <laughs> you know, who, he knows who he is. <laughs> I mean, are you going to blur it yourself? Is that your plan? <laughs> oh, <your> profanity. <laughs> you know what? You know what, Zach? Beep, you beep, you don't beep, beep. Okay. okay. Okay, um, that's it's getting annoying. I know, I know. I mean, um, I can mute you whenever I want. Let it be known, guys. If you don't know, I'm Matt Pool, aka the K Fixers. I'm on this pre-tape episode. Uh, I, I wanted to fight in this match, and I, I, I've been. I wanted to do film. I've been wanting to do film of grudge for a while, and we're here. All right. Be fun. It's gonna be fun, yes. Yeah. I can't yeah. believe I, I'm. I'm a little bit hurt that y'all two did not include me into your thing, but oh well. Okay. Well, Mac, what are you aspiring to be? And we can include it. Can include uh, you. Uh, I want to be a film. I want to be a director too. But you know. Well, I mean, if there already is one. I mean, Mac, do you want to be the lead? Do you want to be the lovable? I mean, you could be a key grip. I mean, that's a thing. I told you. You can be the best boy. Yeah, I mean, boy. <laughs> hey, an army moves on its stomach. So does a film crew. I I, I cannot wait. Let, let's start this. Uh, y'all are y'all, right, are, uh, y'all are bringing out the monster. Okay, uh, Angie, can you uh, go over the rules? We all know them, but you know, yeah. no, I'll put them up right here. No, I'll put them up. Like you do it, and I'll put it up later. You know. Okay. Uh. Wait, where did my rules list go? Oh no. Oh, don't worry. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I'm sorry. I lost like, my list. We can edit for time, so that's not enough. It's yeah. not bad. It's not bad, but here we go. I can do that. That's a blank screen. That is a blank screen. <laughs> that is a very yeah, blank screen. Yep, yep. Just do not look at the blank screen. In the it's like years. staring into our souls telling us about the emptiness of the world. The blankness of it all. The blank wow, room. that got deep. 
Yeah. <laughs> no, that's what, what I would call ripping off Fred. Fred. Well, we get deep the whole episode. <laughs> well, there, uh, guys, there you go. There you go. All hey, right. So. <laughs> Here are the rules. There are going to be four rounds with one question per round. The point is awarded to the fighter with the best argument. The two fighters with the most points will advance to PvP. In the event of a tie, a tiebreaker round will commence in the form of quick bait or grudge quiz. Sorry. There you go. <laughs> Here are the... Phases. First phase, introduction. We'll just simply state the answer. Phase two, the declaration. You guys make your arguments for three minutes. Phase three, there will be the grudge. It's a free-for-all argument, and you guys will have five minutes to try and make your point. Phase four, the last minute, the judge will ask you one question, and you will have one minute to answer. Phase five is the cleanup. We'll do our fact-checking, and we'll give you guys the verdict. I love it. I just noticed you're still relaxing. Well, you're in Ohio. That's not too far from y'all. Uh, I I really don't think you know any northern locations, to be quite honest. Well, anything that's an hour away, I don't consider far. So, you know, for some people, an hour is far. Not not for, if you're from the Midwest. No, it's not. But it still takes me more than an hour to get to where you are. So. Oh, God, no. We would have to find, like, a middle – crap. For us, Zach, it would have to probably be Chicago, wouldn't it? The middle <laughs> one? Yep. And screw Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> Fighting words. Fighting words. Well, no, not really. Just Melissa got something to say to you. Okay. No, she doesn't. <laughs> yes, she does. Uh, so we're ready. We're ready. Yeah, let's do this thing. Let's do this. This, will be, this first one's going to be – so much fun. It is. They're all going to be interesting. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you're going to have to tailor this all to my taste, which is the thing you're all really, really going yeah. to Oh, crap. Yeah. I know 100% this first one's going to be like the most uphill I've ever had to do. I'm uphill, too. <laughs> well, just knowing, like I was, Mac, I told you I was watching your, your guys' stuff on my lunch break. <laughs> Oh, oh no! He hates Resident Evil. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, all right. Ultraviolet get... is worse than Resident Evil. All right. right. So I guess we'll I'll go that at the pretty far bottom. Yeah, yeah. Well, well I will cut that out because they don't need to know the answer. Oh, they yet. need to know. Uh, okay. All right. All right. Let's go with question number one. <laughs> question number one is: What is the best live-action video game movie? All right. Uh, I I'll volunteer as tribute. Um, I, I already have the I already have these loaded. Okay. <laughs> All right. So Scott. Ooh. Okay. Well, I picked Warcraft, directed by Duncan Jones, who you might know as David Bowie's son or the director of Moon. Uh, it's, uh, it's a really good movie. Then that's that'll be my intro for now. We'll find it out later. All right, Ryan. I went with the film Resident Evil, the original Resident Evil, not the sequels. The sequels are not defensible. This movie, at, at least I can try to defend it. And loser. <laughs> Screw you. Uh, <laughs> I went. I went with the. Uh, I went with the most beautiful telling film. Um, until that has been done over time, and that's the one, the only, um, directed by uh, Mike uh, Mike N Newell 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 um, I'm sorry, Newell. Um, that is Prince of Persia: The Sands of Time. Also, also, also produced by Jerry Burkhammer. So, yeah. I mean, I'm just gonna say straight to I don't like any of these films, so you all have an uphill battle. <laughs> So. Tell us after. <clears throat> tell us after the no, round. No, I'm just saying you're all, all you're all equally low. No, well, no, I want to know after the round which would have been the answer to appeal to your taste. So think about live action video game movies and tell yeah, us. Yeah, 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 yeah. I will. Because I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued too. Too. I want to know this answer, but I probably already know the answer. But I don't give a crap. <laughs> all right, who's ready to do this? It's, it's Scott first, right? Yeah, Scott yeah. need to go first. 
All right. Uh, you got the time? Yep. No, no, Angie. Yeah. Yep. All right. Good. All right. Well, this is just a really weird movie, which is always something that I look for when I go into, especially like video game movies. Video games generally tend to be a little bit weirder than film than films. So when you adapt uh, a video game into a movie, you have to lean into that. On top of just the weirdness, it's colorful. There's some really good action. The orcs look amazing. Now, I'll give you the humans are the least interesting part of the movie. But they're really, I mean, they're secondary to the orcs as far as, like, the storyline goes. And even as far as the humans go, there are some great actors filling those roles. You got Ben Foster playing this weird wizard who's corrupted by the fell magic. You've got Dominic Cooper and Ruth Nega, who are from the, the TV show Preacher. They're both there. Toby Kebbell, who played Koba in the Planet of the Apes movies. Clancy Brown, one of the greatest actors out there. And you know, I've never played the video games, but I made a connection to some of the characters in the movie, like some of the orc characters. And it, just to be able to do that with having no connection to this massive world which has been in existence for decades at this point is i think pretty impressive as far as the film goes i don't have any more sorry <laughs> okay that's okay all right ryan you're up so the original resident evil was released in 2002 and it very much is the only one in the series to keep the um horror roots because I, I i really my hatred of the sequels is very clear they give up on the horror aspects and it's just an action movie with zombies it just doesn't work and this is before mila jo jovovich is just um goes down this weird acting path I, I really do dig her as Alice in this first movie. I think it works. Um, you know, we got the Raccoon City setting. It's still that creepy horror vibe. It stays true to the video games while making it easy enough for the non-fan of the games to watch it. Because I never, you know, I was a kid when this m movie came out. I had not played the Resident Evil games yet. I, I saw this first, and then I played them, and I felt that it did it justice. And I, I hate to say this, but for the genre, doing it justice is pretty much the ceiling. You won't hear any of these movies get to the same level as the games they're based off of. It's just doing it justice and not being terrible. Resident Evil does it justice, and it's not terrible. That's it for me. Person who is writing frantically is while well muted. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> okay, guys. Um, guys, well, let, let me tell you. Let me tell you, guys. Okay, guys. Let me tell you what makes um Prince of Persia: The Sands of Time um great. Um, it's a story unlike any other video game movie. Um, it's a film that takes the story of the video game and. A game which was straight, which was, which was a straightforward um, monsters, um, straightforward monsters. It's compared to Pir um, the Pirates of the Caribbean, but it gave us some beautiful cinematography. Um, and adding a bonus, it has two great actors, just like just like Scott's with his film. My film got two great actors. It has the one, the only, the chameleon, Jake Gyllenhaal. And Sir Ben Kingsley, uh, they both do. They both are exceptional in their roles. Um, Jake Gyllenhaal, who hates Jake Gyllenhaal, he's a great guy to act the part of the prince. And Ben Kingsley plays the Sultan very, very well. He plays that part to a T. He plays the villain very well. Um, and and the, it serves the it serves the premise of the game. It, it unlike the other video games. It's um, it's a mesh of everything that you want to do. With it's a there's certain things in the game. It takes elements of the game and put it into the movie. Um, and it was taken from the first Prince of Persia game, 
And if you were to put all that stuff into the Prince of Persia game, all, everything into that one Prince of Persia film, everything from the scenes of time in the first film, then it would be a complete mess. So what we got was a decent film, unlike a complete mess. That's all I had to say. Okay, uh, so uh, get ready to, uh, I don't want to say get ready to grudge, but get ready to yell really loud over each other. <laughs> and go. Mac, Prince of Persia is an <sighs> objectively bad film. I it's, think me and Scott can agree on that. Yeah, it's such a waste oh. of Jake Gyllenhaal and Ben Kingsley. Okay, <laughs> well, well, let's let me Two get of on my rest. favorite actors slumming it in this terrible game. And it's took cues from the later games, which are the easier, oh, no, easily no. the weaker of the games. Well, let me, and, let and me it's when it should have taken the aesthetic of Prince of, of the Sands of Time, the game it was adapting. All right, Mac, throw us your lobby. Okay. First. First, uh, let me get on Resident Evil. Resident Evil is an entertaining game, but it tries to combine one, but sprinkles a lot of two in there. It's a it's a mess of a film. It's a terrible, terrible mess. Yeah, of and a I film. disagree with you, Ryan. I think it missed the point of the game, video game franchise. Yeah, I don't it, think it had that horror element. It, that you're it, talking it, about. Was, it wasn't scary it, at all. It wasn't scary. The only thing that it, on either of you watched the original Resident Evil, it had plenty it of had horror. The train, it had the train thing. It had the train thing from two. Heck, it didn't even have Mr. X in it. The most iconic character. It, it, all it this one was Mr. X. I mean, it didn't even have Mr. X. There was no Chris or Jill. It was no Chris or Jill. Or Jill about Valentine. Terrible cast. That had just a horrible cast. Like Michelle yeah, Rodriguez. All three of our movies don't have a great cast. So Mine is a great. Cast. Really? Glenn Close has a cameo. Yeah, line. but 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 Scott, get into you. Don't yes, yes but I'll get into you, Scott. Yes, Warcraft is a beautifully shot film. I'll give you that. It's colorful, but, it's fun. but also also another film it's that uninviting. Does, that, uh, you the, have uh, to be a hardcore fan of the Warcraft series to get yeah, into that movie. Yeah. Disagree. I, I have never played a single Warcraft game. I, I enjoyed Warcraft thoroughly. Just because it's beautiful doesn't mean nothing. Just like with um, just like with Ryan was watching um, watching of one. Of course, part, you're um, making that argument. You have the well, ugliest video game movie of all time. Well, here, Everything no, is just I, like I, a brown I, overlay. That is on gorgeous. It. The way they're going through the Sahara Desert, it's everything. Terrible. But yours you is guys terrible. Are working on my movie for including apparent. I'm not a big fan of the Resident Evil game franchise, but I apparently Resident Evil Two is one of the most beloved games but of all time, guys. But see, Why but wouldn't see, you borrow from? They that? took yeah. everything from the video games, from the wonky CGI to the early 2000s techno and new metal. That's <laughs> just Scott, it was Scott, Scott, guys. Scott, it's a terrible still, movie. That's the still, curse of that year. <laughs> but Scott, your film, your film, film maybe looks. Scott, your film maybe looks beautiful, but it's Prince the of, best uh, looking movie out of all. But Robin Hood, Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves looked beautiful, and it was still a terrible film. And plus, it was a. And plus, the only thing that saved Robin Hood, Men of uh, Prince of Thieves, is Alan Rickman. Your and your film, game, and your movie looks like the new Robin Hood with the guy from Kingsman, where everything is just like brown and looks like the Middle East has, for some you know reason. What? I'm going to get into this. This was a good film. This was terrible. Is not That's a terrible film. film. It's a good film. film. Cast, a, you know what? We all like Cast the guy that's appropriate for the role. I know. I don't. I know people don't like that. It is. It. It's like why? Why? Why are you putting him in there and just giving him the brown like spray tan? He's not right for the role. Well, I mean, nobody complained when um Ben Kingsley played Gandhi. He got the brown ben skin. Ben Indian, Mac. Yes. Uh, <laughs> ben Indian. Well, here's the thing. But Jake Gyllenhaal is, is not. Kind of <laughs> well, movie. Jake well, Gyllenhaal well, your film got Swedish. a stereotypical. Your team. Your film. Full of stereotypes. Michelle Rodriguez, stereotype. Michelle Rodriguez yeah. is always a stereotype. I'm and sorry, it also, it also got the stereotype. Film, James Bond. I don't even remember his dad boy name, but he plays um whatever his name is in all the James Bond films that um 
Bond's bot um Q's M's bodyguard, he gets killed halfway through the film, and it's stupid. That stupid laser scene, that was the most ridiculous piece of crap I have ever seen. Or, and the Red or Queen, when the Red, I was so glad when they killed the Red Queen. And two, I will objectively say it's better because it's fun. It's fun to watch because Mike Gibbs is in it, and Mike it has no Mike Gibbs in this film because Mike Gibbs made me laugh and too. Nothing in this film was interesting. I mean, the dogs, oh, God, the CGI dogs are so terrible. And as for, um, as okay, for Scott, but My movie was released in 2002. Your movie was released in 2010. It had eight years of technology, and it still looked bad. You have eight years of filmmaking technology. In Prince of Persia, the effects are terrible. And it took nothing from the the game that it's inspired oh, by. It they had to make a whole nother the video dagger, game the called dagger. The Forgotten Sands, which was like the adaptation of the movie, which is an adaptation the of the game. picks. They didn't have to make a and whole that's time. game. Like, oh, she's good with the time. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> so Angie, do you have a question for this one? No, I do not. I do not. <laughs> okay. I want you guys to pick one scene from each of your films and describe it in a way that makes it better. That is the be somehow better than the other movies. You know, pick one. Pick the best scene and describe it. Starting with Scott. I am going to concede. <laughs> I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! I didn't see this film! I know you didn't see that film! I, I have seen the that. film, but it has I, been a long time. I knew you forgot this film. <laughs> it has been three years since I have seen this movie. I cannot pinpoint a specific scene. <laughs> I, I saw right through I, you. Like, I should have picked Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> 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 I thought so. <laughs> uh, Ryan? <laughs> it, it's got to be how Resident Evil ends where she picks up the shotgun, the chaos of Raccoon City, and she's ready to just fuck shit up. I know I'm going with the ending, but that's because it's the easiest scene for me to describe because I watched this movie three weeks ago. <laughs> Go, Mac. You obviously watched your movie more recently. Oh, I did. Ago. I, I did. Uh, there is a part. Um, my favorite part is with the part where there's a scene where it describes the, when Jake Gyllenhaal character finally discovers the time element. And it took the time and he shrinked it and then the snake comes out. I, it, it was awesome the way they stopped it and then he, he got bitten. He was like, oh crap. <laughs> and then he goes back and he slices the dag on and slices the snake in half. That was cool. I, that was cool. Screw you guys. That was fun to me. I love that part. Screw y'all. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, Zach, just lay down the hammer on this one. Yeah, yeah, lay lay down, down, no, no, lay down. Angie, do you have any facts? No, they were pretty much got all their facts straight. <laughs> there was no, uh, nothing I, for me to double check. I I have one. Oh crap, here we go. Uh, one. Mac, it's not based off the original Prince of Persia. No, I said Prince of Persia is the same as the time. No, That's no, you thought. said the first Prince of Persia. And then well, I you the said first, uh, uh, the time. I apologize, yeah. I missed that little bit. Well, I said I meant Prince of Persia. I, I'm not expecting you know, to you to know a DOS game from back then. I know there's Prince of Persia. I said that fans of time. Okay, come on, Zach. I'm so excited because I have no idea what Zach's gonna go with. Um, um, me neither. I, 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 I already know he's going with this guy. It's Scott. I was gonna say Scott. I was I going with you until, until my question. I sh I should have. I should have. Because nobody scene. was saying anything actually negative about yours. You done goofed. <laughs> and then you screwed up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, I should have rewatched it. <laughs> yeah. Um, honestly, Ryan, that is not a bad last scene to pick. No, it's, I knew it. It's just uh, it's sad that it's, it's the it's last not. scene in the movie. It's the best scene. In On the, the other hand, I do love the la I do love laser hallways, but in Event Horizon, not in. 
Dude, so you want to talk about Horizon? We can talk about Horizon all day. I love that movie. Pick Ryan already, you son of a gun. It, it is, it is, it is Ryan because I it, it is it, the waste of Jake Gyllenhaal in in that movie. Okay. It is an absolute waste of talent. I definitely right. agree. So now like, that I've got my point, I was going to argue that my movie uses crappy actors and knows it. Max movie had great actors. I, 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 like it, as much as I hate that movie, I like the first one more than the other ones because at least doesn't screw up anything in continuity yet. Okay, can we go to question two? <laughs> no, no, no. You want no? Well, let's hear what the best answer would have been from Zach. Yeah, I want to know that too. What would have appealed to you the most? Postal. Of course. <laughs> Say it's crap all you want, but it's based on postal. No, duh. Okay. I can't the say it's idea. crap yet. That goes against one of my arguments for later. Oh, I know. <laughs> I know. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Don't worry. Don't worry. We're going ready. Yeah. All right. So, uh, on to question two. Uh, so, Ryan, congratulations. You picked the least horrible thing out of <laughs> that, that list because, I yeah. mean, that was that list of very bad movies. I should have just went with Mortal Kombat because even though I love that movie and I know it's bad, but I could have had better arguments. Me even too. I, I, I was going with Mortal Kombat, but I wanted to challenge myself. I could no, have remembered it's scene because you know I don't <laughs> like that movie. No, I, you don't. Yeah, listen, if I listen, oh, no, it's you, a bad, I know it's bad in nostalgia goggles is why I like no, it. All, no, of, all no. of these video game movies are bad. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yes, <laughs> we agree. <laughs> like if I could have argued um, Wreck It Ralph, I would have had a better argument. Like I said, I, I wanted, probably would have allowed that. I was challenged. That Edge of Tomorrow. I, I challenged. I was That's challenged based off a of manga. Yeah. All right. Um, All right. Going on to question two. Make a dramatic performance better by replacing the actor with a game character. Um. So, Mac, I start out with you this time. Oh, um, uh, so I I went with the obvious answers, um, and um, I'm hoping you got that beautiful photo up. It's I not want, beautiful at all. I, I don't care. Uh, I want to replace Matthew McConaughey and in Interstellar with Fox McCloud. Yeah, 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 yeah. Awful. Yeah, I know it's awful. I want to replace it because I'll get to it later. But yeah, I want to see. I want. I just yeah. Okay, Scott. <laughs> okay, I am replacing Ethan Hawke in the movie Boyhood with Kratos from God of War. <laughs> Mindy, you will be all arguing for multiple roles as he plays more than one role. <laughs> the photo! Yeah. Oh, Mindy! <laughs> okay. Oh, fuck. He looks like he's ready to kill this kid. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, man. Why does Kratos not look ready to kill things? Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Okay. That's his okay. default setting. Yeah. And uh, Ryan? Sonic the Hedgehog is going to be replacing Bradley Cooper in A Star is Born. <laughs> you are. <laughs> 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 you had to go with the <laughs> I didn't specify which one, but. Oh, God. <laughs> that movie's going to be a shit box. I'm calling it now. <laughs> Oh. Oh, that God. was so amazing. <laughs> that was uh, that was good. Hmm. Okay. All right. Let's hear. Let's hear, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to compose myself. Compose. <sighs> Look, Interstellar is a hot garbage movie. Hot, hot, hot garbage movie. I do not like it. I think it's Nolan's one of Nolan's worst films. I think Nolan could have done better, but I'm just want to get that outside. 
everybody that praises, I don't know why. This is just, I, I don't know what dream he's working up from. But I'm going to say that, you know, tonight, the whole thing about the film is we don't want to piss off Nolan fans because a lot of those Nolan fans are going to say it was a good story. It was the best film. It was spectacular. The problem with the film that I have, and I think all of us agree, that we don't believe Matthew McConaughey is an astronaut. There is no freaking way. If you look at Matthew McConaughey, you do not believe that he says, oh, look up there. There's a black hole. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I think I got the extraterrestrial going. The face post are going. Oh, God. All right, all right, all right. You don't believe that crap. You don't believe all right, all right, all right as an astronaut. But you put Fox McCloud in that film, you automatically believe Fox McCloud is going to get the job done. Fox McCloud, he's, he'll sit up there, he'll turn on the thrusters, he's like, also, oh man, I believe him. And also, guys, we have seen the exception, we have seen all the Nolan films. This is not out of his wheelhouse. There is a good chance that he will put a fox in this film. A talking fox in this film would look good on Nolan's resume. No one is weird enough to do this crap. He will do this crap. No one is crazy enough to do it. And he will put a talking fox in it. And he and you know no one. If no one fans will say he that that, that, that talking fox will get an Oscar. Stop. <laughs> Okay, my turn, right? Yep. <laughs> okay, initially, my entire argument was going to be based around how Kratos says boy in the new game, uh, God of War game. But once I heard your guys' answers, I realized I was the only one pitching a character with any gravitas. My character is actually going to make my movie better. Yours, yours will make your movies funnier and a little weirder, but... Mine, like we've seen Kratos grow as a character. We've seen him evolve dramatically, and in this last one, there are some like truly like great performances. So putting him in a father role, in a less action heavy, less you know Norse god heavy movie, would actually be somewhat fitting. Sure, it's going to be a little hard getting used to the dude with the giant beard and tattoos and the axe. But like, just think about all the scenes <laughs> with any of Patricia Arquette's boyfriend characters. This dude's gonna kill them all. <laughs> it's gonna turn this movie into somewhat of an action movie, but still it's gonna be a character piece. It's gonna be, and it, you can do it all in real time. We've That's seen time. Kratos. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, get over here. Boy. <laughs> Boy, get over here. You're not ready. <laughs> You're not ready to touch that girl. <laughs> Whoa. No, <That's>... no. <laughs> oh, fuck, Mac. <laughs> um, who here thinks I could put a DQ down just for that? No, I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I meant to say date, yeah. That's not what you meant to say. Whatever. <laughs> Okay, let's forget about that. You know, it, it's in there. It was sad. <laughs> Screw it. <laughs> um, Brian? Okay, so A Star is Born, a movie that a lot of people saw. It made a ton of money. A movie on first viewing, I enjoyed. On second viewing, I noticed there's something really wrong with the movie, which is the portrayal of a relationship that Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga have, it's just, it's not a good relationship. It's, it's just frustrating to watch. And as much as I love Bradley Cooper in the role, we need to pull him out and we need to have fun with it because people need to realize that these relationships are not what you need to aspire for. The movie, I think that's the message of the movie. You shouldn't aspire for these relationships. These flipping people seeing it don't seem to notice. So let's get Sonic in that role. He's going to piss himself off. He's going to do all the messed up stalkerish things. And you're going to watch that go, Sonic's being really flipping weird. And when Sonic hangs himself at the end of the movie, you're all going to laugh your ass off and go, he was a horrible person. <laughs> That's it for me. We, we got to get to this grudge because it's going to be fun.
Also, spoiler, it's for three movies. Yeah, I know. I know, right? <laughs> wait, Ned, wait. Three movies? No, I said A Star is Born. It's one movie. It's a remake. There's three, it's a remake That's of a remake. remake. Yeah, but that, yeah. Yeah, but I, no, I, I was just super. saying, like, I was just... Yeah. It was a, no, it's it, the it's movie. Movie. Yeah, 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 that's in my art. Oh, no, I'm saying if you haven't seen it by now, that one of the iterations by now, that's your own fault. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. No, you're right. Cool. All right. Uh, get to your bitching. Matt, okay. what the fuck do you have against Interstellar? Nobody Interstellar. wants to watch a fox cry for four minutes straight. Listen, listen, listen. Nobody, no, 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 no. I know y'all two are love... jumping on me. We're going to jump on me, but I'm going to jump on some. I'm going to jump. Don't jump on me because I'm going to get on Kranos real quick. Okay. You really <laughs> think, do you really think Richard Linklater is going to dag on, get his, take his news, eat the hawk out the film to put a nobody in? No. No, he that's is not his muse. What does that mean? What muse? His, his muse, Ethan Hawke, is almost in almost half now, in the scenario. Time. The directors are okay with it. What I'm going to disagree, as even though Kratos is the most developed of the three picks, I don't think Kratos is going to be able to get that. Oscar he won't nomination. even know the boy. He don't even know. He's not even going to know what the boy's name is. All he's going to say, I, is "Boy." That makes it better. No, it doesn't. I don't, the I don't, I don't think good. anybody's going to buy Sonic as a musician or as a singer. No, especially, no, his voice is no. way too high, especially yeah, to no. be a country Sonic's singer. A country it's going to be weird. Now, and you're really going to have to change cool. the addiction from booze to speed. Yeah, and not only that, it's going to be awesome. And not only that, it's not going to be it's not going to be fun because yeah. the problem with the film, looking at I and I watched it, the problem with A Star Is Born was never Bradley Cooper; it was exactly. Lady Gaga. That, Lady no, Gaga, that movie is built on their chemistry. You take yeah. either of them out, and it doesn't work. You put well, Sonic and Lady Gaga. Are they going to have chemistry? The movie because the problem with me was Gaga because Gaga the was movie, these people that are seeing the movie are taking the wrong message from it. Now, oh if you want to replace him, now, if a better choice, so a better great. choice, a better choice was re um replace um Lady Gaga with Marlon from um. The, um let's let's the let's White not do hypotheticals. Let's get on uh, on Interstellar because the second Fox does uh, a barrel roll, they oh, wind up in the wrong bookshelf. They <laughs> they change well, the no, entire. No, he doesn't get now. he doesn't He's get back to Murph, show. and he doesn't Shut get up. to. It's he not doesn't get about, to save the day. Look, look, look. It's not about the fact that um he it's not about the fact of him doing his stuff from Star Fox. It's the fact that you don't and you can say this all you want. You did not believe Matthew McConaughey sure was no, no, you did no, not. And no, was one one not weird no. He, all he, right, he, all right, all the right. weirdest thing he did was put a train in the city. You did not believe Matthew McConaughey was a restaurant, and I certainly didn't. I love that. I did. Movie. I bought inside. I enjoyed Interstellar for what it was. Yeah, it's I mean, not his best movie, movie, but it's so not. So you're telling me that in Nolan's that you know, movie is not Matthew McConaughey's fault. It's it's the fact that no one put no like told Nolan no. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> but that's yeah, the thing. The this Nolan movie is still no pretty decent. Got, it's still beautiful no, looking. He gets no, some good performances out of it. They no, should have told great in that movie. Yeah, no, movie Warner Brothers should have told no about Kratos, is, Kratos cannot save Boyhood. Boyhood, as as great of an no, he makes it a better movie. I'm not saying he saves Boyhood. He makes it a better movie. Your guys' so, characters don't make it a better movie. If anything, it makes them worse. One of the interesting dynamics whatever. of Boyhood is at the beginning of the film, Ethan Hawke is a terrible dad, and by the end of the it, Kratos. Ethan Hawke is a better dad. Kratos is not even a better dad. He's worse. It's but a similar no. He's a similar uh, trajectory he takes yeah. in the most he recent God of War. Son. He neglected his own son. He neglected his own son in the game. While we see Patricia Car Arquette date these terrible men, if you put Kratos in Ethan Hawke's role, it's just a series of horrible father figures. But in in um in Robba, in your film, I mean, it's just no, we know he not they're not going to put him on speed. We all know that he's going to get fat and depressed and eat chili dog. The whole time. That's that's exactly I don't want to see Sonic going. key himself. Me, and I don't want to see Sonic kill himself. Lord. Nobody want to see him. You, yeah. you literally don't want to see. Nobody wants to see Sonic die. I, don't, I would love to see that because that would be better. The than last the time they had so, the last time they made Sonic die, it was Sonic 06, and that was a terrible game, and we all hated that. So yeah, now we're gonna get that in there. And in my guy, in my movie, we get Fox. Fox always go alone. 
he always works here with a team. He fits this role. He, you, he, role. he only fits the role because he's also a pilot. He's also a pilot. He's a pilot, and also he can act well. I'm going to lie. Where is that evidence? Listen, 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 listen. I, I love him in that role. You take him out of it, it ruins the movie. He's not the heart and soul in this film. If you take him out, the film can still produce. He was a bland character, the best character in that film. When you're telling me that the best character in that film to everybody, most people was Tars, the robot, a bland robot. You are That's not the that best person character. You about Interstellar. Right. You obviously hate it. <laughs> I do hate oh, it, and man. I said it. And ever some people. Do so not. then you're actively trying to make it better, make it yeah. worse rather, make it worse. Yeah. I'm and that's it time. Better. time. Angie, you have any questions? I mean, other other than the obvious of, you know, did anybody pick a movie they don't secretly hate? I said Gravitas. That's That's gotta count for something. That was pretty much my question. Is like, <laughs> <laughs> Does anybody like their movie? They did anybody them? actually like their movie? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I, I don't like my movie. I hated it. Yeah, but you opened your argument with that, Mac. We all know that. <laughs> we know. I know. We know. I hate it, but I'm trying to make the film better. And some no one thing. made it worse. I made it better. It's I, better, I, Matthew. Put a fox in. No, I put a fox in it. And <laughs> look, movie. listen, look, I understand the arguments. <laughs> all right, let's let's back. Um, say his piece. Uh, any facts? No, the only one was the Star is Born one, but we knocked that one out. So. Okay. Uh, I want you guys to specifically pick a line from the movie that your character would improve. Oh, I, I got to go first? Yes, you do, man. <laughs> yes, oh, do. cool, cool, cool. Um, he would improve the... Um, he would improve the whole line between, um, like, um, telling Doctor Man the whole the whole scene between him and Doctor Man trying to tell him to do stuff. It would improve it because nobody believed him trying to get that whole air. So you're doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong. Whereas Fox is like, you're doing it wrong. Stop. He would give you more influence because he wants to save the man. Matthew Conaway didn't want to save him. But Fox, he wants to save people. So he will literally believe you when he's trying to do. He said, Stop it. You're doing it wrong. Where Matthew Kind, he was just doing it in his summon voice. Well, do you want it wrong? You got to put it like this. I think that whole scene would be better with his lines and him doing it because he would do more added interest in it. Where Matthew Kind, he just looking stupid. <laughs> okay. Scott. Okay. Uh, there is. Uh, there's this back and forth between Mason and his father where they're talking about, where Mason is like, how do you know there's no magic in the world or something like that? And then uh, Ethan Hawke goes on this whole diatribe about how there's elves and whatnot in the world. So just imagine Kratos saying these lines and knowing from experience that he's encountered these things. Oh, man. It, how does that not make it better? I get <laughs> <clears throat> Okay. Ryan. Hey. I just wanted to look at you one more time. Oh, shoot. Sorry, <laughs> Vince. <laughs> That's the role of a pedophile. <laughs> I got my best Sonic voice, okay? It's, I, can't do the Sonic. Uh, I mean, Sonic <laughs> kind of sounds like that already. Yeah. Um, okay, Angie, any thoughts? <laughs> Um, no, <laughs> I'm just kind of taken aback by this fight. <laughs> Who came up with the question? Did Matt come up with the question? I did. I came with all this reeks of Matt. <laughs> <laughs> it does. Um, okay, uh, Mac, you used the last part instead of bolstering Fox to just say more horrible things about McConaughey. Sure. That that's that's <laughs> not an answer. You've made it sound like your pick could have replaced 
been replaced by anything. Okay. And that's a problem. Okay. Ryan, I mean, the answer, you know, you know exactly what's wrong with all of this. Yeah. <laughs> I think I mean, we all know who's about to get the point, and I totally understand why he would get the point. I mean, yeah, Scott, I mean, you get this one. I mean, it's... I, I, sh- I was pissed when I saw it. it was I, do, I, I thought when, when y'all, kept, y'all keep going after me every time. Be, uh, no. like, Look at your well, choices I and how you argue. No, 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 no. They come after me this time. No. I'm coming for them. It, no, if you would have <laughs> just gonna... stayed quiet, you would have had a better chance. Who, oh, me? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're I'm gonna have to no, I, mean, I mean that. No, no yeah, you, you, I'm we, just saying, we, you, if there you would have. The least coming after was Kratos for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah we couldn't. We that could... was the best answer. That you don't come after answer. Kratos. I tried to come at the Kratos, but I was like, dang it, yeah, you're coming up with some arguments that are just killing me. Like, I'm like, like I, I don't like Interstellar either, but I also don't think McConaughey is the problem with that. I think the indulgence is the problem with that movie. Um, if, like I said, as someone who loves the movie, if somebody would have been in there to tell Nolan, hey, are you sure about that? Are you sure about that? Somebody to second guess him. That movie has all the potential to be great. It's just... This is what happens when a director doesn't get. Noticed. I mean, your your guys is, is just simply there to make the movie no longer a serious movie. Whereas, at least, I can at least picture a bearded guy who kind of looks like Kratos hanging around in Boyhood and working. Is the Imagine Bautista in the lead? Okay, now you've lost me. I kind of want to take that point back. Because <laughs> <laughs> I I just saw the preview for the next movie he's doing, and that looks awful. Um, hey, guys, got to get paid. Batista needs to make that money. You know, Vince McMahon didn't pay him. <laughs> Vince right. McMahon hasn't paid anybody. Well, all right, we gotta get going because um, no, so because seriously, some people want to leave. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So, Scott, you get that. Um, Mac, you you have to just not hammer in the same thing over and over again until you you think you're right. Oh well, no, I'm I'm right about this one, and I mean, you're, no matter how hard you like this director, y'all, I'm right. So go ahead. All right, question three: Who has directed the worst video game movie? Who has? I thought it yeah. was what. Yeah, I have. What is the worst director to make a video game movie? Sorry. Yeah, that's what I had to. Who has what has? Uh, so what? It doesn't matter. Yeah, mm-hmm. it doesn't. Mm-hmm. It changes the question a little bit. Yeah, it does change it because <laughs> then it comes it to winning. Because because I said, well, I literally sent you these and asked you if they were okay. So, so you want to go with who? Uh, Ryan, you start. Cool. Um, I went with the directing duo behind Super Mario Brothers. Rocky Morton and Annabelle Jank Jankel, something like that. Not Jackal, but it was. All right, Mac. Oh, um, this man has been this wanted for many crimes. Uva Ball. Uva Ball. Look, look, just a son of a <laughs> got him a game shirt. <laughs> Yeah. And Scott. I picked James Yukich, I believe that's how you pronounce it, who directed Double Dragon. Wow, wow. you got it black or right. <laughs> surprised you found a picture. Yeah. Okay, so uh, is it who, who wants to start here? Uh, I think it would be me, right? So Yes. Okay. Um, this is gonna be sweet and to the point. Number one, that is the movie that they made is a terrible movie that made Nintendo wait decades before they would be okay to try another attempt at a Hollywood film. And then the other point, they have they do not have a character after the film. They you go to either of their Wikipedias, while Annabelle may have a few commercials and maybe some TV shows. Neither of them have gotten another major motion picture release. And that, to me, 
shows how terrible you are as a director. <laughs> the duo, like, yeah. Okay. Mac? Um, look, this is an easy answer, but I, I, this is such an easy answer. I could just stop here and just say Uva Ball, but let's go into detail. Um, why is this the only answer? He is the not. He's one director who's made so many bad video games. Granted, everybody loves Postal, and I admit Postal does do what it's supposed to do. But that's just one, just one. He made. He is the he he he's been directed to make sequels of bad bad video games, and I'm gonna go. Um um he 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 um he literally is so bad that he made the um made he's the king of it. He he's nine times out of ten. If you see Uva Ball on it and it's a video game out of adaptation of it, it's gonna suck. He it's a it's it's gonna suck. Um he's made Alone in the Dark one and two, made Blood Rain one and two <laughs> in the name of the king which is based on what you say is based on another video game it was terrible it made a series of that uh he also made um the dreaded i want to say was it house of the dead film which a lot of people hate they hate that film this you're gonna go that's i know what my competitor is gonna bring up one film that he did but he's responsible but that's one film to the scale where he made many films, and the skill is scale is tilting very, very high for that film. That one film does not is saving grace for so many. Like I, I can count here so far, he has done one, two, three, four, five, six films, six bad video game films, and this is a director that knows that this film is going to suck. He is doing it for money. He is not doing it for entertainment. These are films that suck. They suck. They are terrible films, and when you see them, you know they suck. So, there we go. And also, um, the Dragon Siege series got a 4% on Rotten Tomatoes. Scott? Um, I'm going to go. All right. James Yukich is mostly a video, a music video director. He's only directed one other feature film that's not a TV movie, and it was uh, a 1999 movie called Affair to Remember, starring Malcolm Jamal Warner. And he's a cab driver hired to <laughs> hired by a rich white woman to drive her from Seattle to LA. It's basically Christmas driving with Miss Daisy. Now that's not even mentioning Double Dragon, the video game movie that he directed, which was before first it's before we learned that Scott Wolf was not a leading man. It has the dude who hosted Iron Chef America it's regarded as one of the worst, if not the worst video game movie of all time. And it just, it looks like, it looks like an old Ninja Turtles TV show from the early nineties. It's terrible. It's a horrible movie. And this guy clearly didn't have the chops to make it as a feature film director. He went back to directing music videos. He never really, other than 1999, Malcolm Jamal Warner, he didn't really come back and do feature films after that. Say what you will about the others, but they directed other movies. They directed other things. James Jukic, not so much. Okay. Uh, I mean, I'm sure all of that checks out to varying degrees. Yep. Um, so, uh, you guys are going to have to convince me why yours is the worst. Why what they did is such an affront. So uh, keep that in mind and, and try and focus this time. <laughs> okay. Right. Can we go? Yes. All right. Say so, what you will about Uwe Ball. Postal wasn't bad. Even the first Rampage was pretty good. A bro uh -huh. clock is Rampage is not a video game, game movie. Hmm? Rampage is not based on a video game movie. That's yeah, but, 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 uh, we're as far as we're talking about video game movies, and you're talking yeah, about his. We're film. talking about worst director. And also, let's let me get on James Luke. He's got a ton of credits. He was working in 2007. And if we're supposed to go with one movie, which one are we going with? Which movie are you picking? Which one I'm going to pick? You know what? I'm going to pick Blood Rain. Boy, I thought we aren't picking the movie. We're just looking at. That's the what he did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're, but you're talking about history. It. Film history is is acceptable to know. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. So the rampage. Was, 
Rampage was a solid movie. Postal was good. I mean, this yeah, dude literally fucked critics. Both, Just to have that in the world, I think, is we're pretty talking incredible. About, we're, talking about his, we're talking about video game movies, and his video game track record is very, very so We're low. talking about their entire filmography. And and speaking which, Rocky, 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 Rocky Morton and Annabelle Jankel, they directed a, a solid mystery thriller called and DOA James, with James Dennis Quaid and Meg Ryan. That was a pretty decent movie. James and Jankel, Jankel went on to direct a, a TV movie called Skellig the Owlman with Tim Roth, and I'm happy that exists. Yeah, but, but James, 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 it's been years since they've worked. James is still making stuff. He's still yeah, working. music and videos. Always, He's not, but, but, but here's the thing about James, though. So, the guy was really thrown under the bus with Double Dragon. Um, he was not a smart. He wasn't smart. I'll give you that. But you know, but he was an untested he, director. He it was untested. He wasn't director, the role. But the man so was given a career. seven point. The the film was destined to destined to fail. He was given a seven point seven um seven and a half million dollar budget, which wasn't a lot to do. So half of that film was based on the effects, which wasn't a lot. And that, and not only that, that was more than what um that was more than what the that was lower than what the Mario film was it. Yeah, Mario I mean, was like, given a lot of the balls movies do really really just poorly, because, but he just still gets everybody cannot go and make like. And I know this is discrediting it. Nobody can just go off and be a musical director and be Michael Bay and make. All, like, if you have as many movies as Uwe see. Ball has made, like a, a few of them are going to be at least decent to decent? not trash. Well, like, okay, so you're the not, point about the directors of Super Mario Brothers. Their movie was so bad, Nintendo decided to st stop. They weren't going to make movies. That movie is pretty time. inventive. That's it's pretty weird inventive. and kind of enjoyable yeah. in its own right. Even if you ignore the race yeah. to the Super Mario Brothers, it has nothing to do with it other than the and, name. That doesn't matter. It's, 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 matter. Still, it's still kind of a fun movie. I mean, the like weird it's not all over the place. It's not a fun Bob movie. Hoskins. Bob Hoskins. We would never get these. We would never get these great stories about um how Bob Hoskins had a um had had a, had his cast on. There were so you know many what? great I stories. John Leguizamo's got a lot of great bits about. Yeah, yeah, there was a lot of great bits. Yeah, I would, yeah, great bits. It, yeah, I would was... rather have gotten a live action Metroid movie, a live action Star Fox, but Nintendo so terrified because Super Mario Brothers the movie almost destroyed the brand. They had to wait until Detective Pikachu. To try to do another live action of one of their properties, that is insane. But yeah, but still, it's that still is, they still no. made they still made a movie that people talk about today. Like yeah, I saw, I've seen the, articles being written about Super Mario Brothers as recently as last year. That's pretty yeah. impressive, even for a movie that's exactly. not regarded as a great movie. It's got it's got a cult following, like that, the, like the Dragon has an insane cult or following. That I don't I don't understand why people have a cult following of any of these movies, but. Bowling, I understand. I understand. Super Mario. Thing, but Bowling but is a terrible James, director. He's not hurting the, all of video game them. He's not that, like they're I, still trying to make his movies. But I don't. I don't think that it hurt video game them because video games are still doing awesome. And like it, it, every movie, every video game movie that's come out pretty much since has been terrible. So it's back, not just the these directors. Nobody can crack it. James, but back to James. There's a certain things. Um, there are certain things. He got to, he did do some music videos. He got to work with Bruce Willis in the future. There's some suit, some stuff he got to do. He yeah, did have some successful success afterwards. Yeah, but and nobody was, trusts him with a feature length film, which it is wasn't something that like Uwe Ball still gets to keep making movies. He's made that's because dozens Uwe of Ball, movies. That's because Uwe Ball does does crap. He's not doing. He's not so doing what? this. James, you could you do crap too, but he doesn't. But James, he does a lot of music videos, but he doesn't do. Stuff, but there's the thing about James. James. Was given a check, given a tough task. You couldn't give a director that much money. Well, he's been given many tough tasks. He he turned Postal into a decent movie. Yeah, Postal but, is barely a game. <laughs> but yeah, but half of his other filmography, we're talking about other. Regardless, games. he's talking, got one. He's got Blood one good Rain, movie. That's more than Blood James Ukechuk. Rain, Blood the, Rain had been King time. It was terrible. <laughs> Uh, Angie, facts? No, no facts. Just a couple thoughts, really. Uh, what are they? Well, it just seems like when you guys were talking about, I'm sorry if I mis totally mispronounced his name, Bull. Yeah. I didn't really understand what, what you guys were saying, like why he was the like as bad as you guys are saying he is. 
He's not. It just well, kind of. Scott are saying he's not as bad as he is. Well, Mac is, so you know. You're going over the filmography. I'm going over the video game movies. If you look over the video game movies, they're pretty bad. He even still has one. Okay, over but my picture. director's only that's got one game though. That's one, one game. That's one out of six. One out of six. Come on, man. We'll never know what James you could have done with six other movies. He might have made six terrible movies. Reel it back in. Reel it back in. (laughs) Thank you for clearing that up. (laughs) 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 Zach, you may continue. (laughs) Uh, Do I have to? (laughs) (laughs) Um... Honestly, I don't have an ad question to this. I can't think of one. What about a I mean, final statement? Like we just round out our arguments. How about yeah? Just uh yeah, just a final statement each. Just, you know. Short. Keep it short. I watch that, my clock. That that didn't have to do with you, that had to do with you know who. Um, <laughs> so yeah, so Ryan, start us out. So at the end of the day, as bad as U Bowl movies are and as bad as Double Dragon is, they still got to there's still video game movies being attempted and he still got James Yukich got to make things. These two made a movie so bad that Nintendo pulled their properties from the potential. I don't want a story about Bob Hack. Hoskins on the set of that movie. I would love the potential for so many Nintendo properties to have been given a shot that now have had to wait for decades because of how bad Super Mario Brothers the movie was because of what these two did to it. Mac? As bad, uh, listen, both of these two got bad, both of these are bad, bad films, but these two directors are given very tough tasks. And that's the Super Mario Brothers. Super Mario Brothers did, got talking about it took them years. There were other films. They still invented. They still had the Super Mario Super Show. There's still some stuff that they did with interaction, different interactions of Mario. And as for Double Dragon, they still had different interactions of Double Dragon. Where my film, my film, my director to Acad- Academy Award winning actors and ha- look, if you go look at Brad, my, my, go look at um, go, just go look at Blood Rain. Michael Manson look look so depressed. I mean, somebody go get him a beer. He looked so depressed. He didn't look like he wasn't gonna be there. He, he paused every time he talked when he was like, we're, "We're going here, and we're doing this," and yeah, and the blood was terrible. There were you can literally see that's, the that's enough. There. We get the idea, Scott. Okay. All right, James Yukich got two shots, essentially, and Hollywood was like, nope, you just got to make music videos for the rest of your career. That's all you're going to be relegated to. Uwe Ball continues to get to make movies to this day. He even tried to make a Warcraft movie, and they turned him down. (laughs) And say what you will about the uh, Rocky Morton and Annabelle Jankel. They made a really weird and inventive movie. They thought outside the box. They didn't straight adapt Super Mario Brothers, but they made a movie people are still talking about. Nobody's talking about Double Dragon. Nobody's talking about uh, the Affair to Remember with Malcolm Jamal Warner. Those are two terrible movies because he's not a good director. He's the worst director who's ever attempted to make a video game movie. Mm. So, Angie, do you have any thoughts on this? Um, well, I don't know exactly what the James one, because he, it does show here that he has made, like, directed films since his bad video game TV movies. movies. Yeah, they're, they're not, they're not, uh, like, regular films. Okay. But still work. All of them still work. Mm -hmm. It's been seven years for my duo. Like, the last thing they did was in 2011. And Will Jankel did something last year. Tell it to the bees. I don't know mm-hmm. what it is, but it's all on our list. On cyberpunk. Our I mean, they they even a cyberpunk. So they, see that that's Ryan. That's that's uh, that's that's what makes it hard for me because it's like 
they did one of my favorite series of all time. It was Max Headroom. Mm. I was about to say, I had that in my notes. I, <laughs> to say it. I had that in my notes. I was going to say it. I was like, if I say this, Zach will win, but I'm going to be five feet. <laughs> so it's, it's hard. I mean, objectively, it is not a good movie. It's not a good movie to the source material, but I do find it really, really entertaining. Like, it's entertaining film. Um, Uwe Boll has, has consistently used whatever German tax break has allowed him to continue his uh, rage upon blight upon this earth. It's rampage. Um, no, no, I, <laughs> uh, no. He's a, he, no. Rampage would imply that that like it's interesting to watch. It's more like a blight where everything just sort of <laughs> dies weekly, lamely. Um, you could, uh, he literally was not allowed to touch basically anything near anything like this ever again. However, it is a that is better than the Double Dragon cartoon. Um, <laughs> so yeah, if you're ever looking to truly hate yourself, uh, watch the cartoon. I'm actually going to go with Mac on this one simply due what? to... <laughs> I thought I lost this! <laughs> okay. The, the, one of the... Both of them... One of them has done other things successfully, and it was just a really, really bad fit. I think that if they would have actually been given a chance to do something, a video game movie that was... like, I, If they would have done a Metroid movie... That probably would have been really good if you look at their style. So, because apparently they did not want to do this movie any more than Nintendo wanted to put it out. So, uh, oh, and, and I'm just saying, like, Double Dragon's bad, but it's not that bad. It's it's not stupid bad. It's just stupid. <laughs> so. I'm actually going to have to go with Mac on that one. I did not want to go with Mac on that I, one. I knew. I thought I lost I it as soon as they brought up the whole filmography. I was like, oh, dang it. Why y'all y'all, y'all brought the whole t- tumbling bricks on me? I was like, crap. I was like, I'm going to fight this. And, uh, uh, okay. I'm grateful for the point. And, like, I do I, I, I actually enjoy watching the Mario Brothers movie. I'm one of those poor, okay, well, bad, unfortunate Damn freaks. you, damn you, Zach. And damn that movie for... <laughs> I'm perfectly fine with never having a Mario movie in theaters. As long as I get my stupid, stupid, like, like jumping feet things they have. That's freaking hilarious. The boots? Yes. yes. Those are hilarious. Those are hilarious. <laughs> and Bob Hoskins just, like putting his <laughs> face in that chest. <laughs> I'm sorry. There's so many. There's so many classic pieces. Of terrible. You know, you know my philosophy on terrible film. I, I know. know. I, I know. know too. <laughs> I, I, t- I spoke with you at length about it. Yeah. Okay. Now let's get to the best question of the match because this is definitely going to be the most fun. This is going to be fun because all I think these are. All good. He's, this is the one I actually came up with. So, yeah, he did. Yeah. He did. So, this is a good one. I like this question. All right. So, what pre nineteen sixty film should be made into a point and click adventure game? Oh, this is gonna be good. So, Scott, All right, I went with Rashomon. Kira Kurosawa classic. Dang it. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry, but that was my favorite one of the. No, movies. no, no. I'm saying this. I'm, I'm saying this. Just, just. It's good. I, I'm just saying. Okay. Uh, Mac. Oh, I get to go. Uh, I went with the. I went with the Alfred Hitchcock classic. Rear window. With Grace Kelly. And James Stewart. And Ryan. I went with the Akira Kurosawa classic, Seven Samurai. Thank it. <laughs> uh, Mac, yours was thoroughly outclassed in all the posters. 
<laughs> yeah, it was. It was. <laughs> no, I don't even need the ones I selected here. I looked for one to make it as cool as the other two, and I couldn't. Yeah, yeah, it was that class. I, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that uh, Hitchcock. Just it, it's it okay, up. Matt. Curacao films just have great posters. That's yeah, they do. Class. Yeah, I, I just they looked live. at the posters like, man, mine's so enthusiastic, unenthusiastic. But okay. Okay, since so, so uh, this is a pitch round. So. I, there's really not going to be much to argue, so you're basically just going to have to give me the pitch. Right now? Oh, each of us. Each of you. Okay. I guess Zach was first. I'm I'm Zach. I'm not Zach. <laughs> um, um, Scott was first. Yes. So, Scott, uh, take it away. Okay. My version of Rashomon is a pretty standard uh, point-and-click adventure game, except it has a built-in need to play through multiple options and storylines. There are already four built-in storylines. They're just—it's the same story from different perspectives, which is kind of what a lot of these point-and-click adventure games end up being. You get to play through it again and find a new path. Now, this is going to have different action depending on which storyline you're playing. You know, because you're playing from. Uh, the bandit's perspective and then the wife's perspective and the samurai's perspective. So each one's going to have its own uh, different type of gameplay while still keeping the point and click aspect of it. Now uh, it's also, it, it's also got a storyline that is very relevant in the current day. It's about a woman who, and her husband who are attacked and the woman is assaulted and it's basically everyone's perspective of what happened of the story that happened so it's very very relevant and i think it brings you it will bring you even more so into the storyline than the film because you are actively taking part in each individual storyline so that's my pitch all right okay uh my turn yep Okay, first of all, I just want to say all these are great choices. They are excellent, excellent choices. But um, but I feel like Rear Window is the best. It's a great concept for a point and click, and here's why. Um, first, in my game, you start off with the main story, which I'll call the Rear Window. Um, and I'm not going to spoil anything. I'm not going to spoil the film. Go watch it. I don't want to spoil it. It's a great film. Watch it. Watch it. It's a great Hitchcock film. I liked it. Um, uh, but, um, uh, if you haven't seen it, um, if you haven't seen it, it's a great movie, but, um, you play the main story of the rear window where you're seeing the window in the middle and you're seeing the whole situation of what's going on. And then you get the whole ending, um, you get the whole ending, but, um, I want, and, but after you get done with the main story, you get the file. I want that at, at the end of the main story, you get a different story from different perspectives of different parts of the house. Like you can go see the piano player. I'm not spoiling anything. This is in the trailer. You get to see p- the lonely piano player where you get to see his whole entire story, where he just looking at through his glasses, his whole entire story, and you're seeing it from his perspective. Like, and not only that, you're seeing it from the gl- you're seeing it from the lens perspective, but you actually get to see the players. Um, see what the player's doing inside the area, and you can go with the lone with the um with the sculpture, the quote sculptor, the two meddling people in the middle with the dog. You can have um you have the um the the woman that I I, I want to say the the woman that's literally has a bunch of men um in her house. You can see her right there. You see her whole plot. And um, like I said, this this game got so many different. This movie got so many different ways, elements of a great point and click game because you can do certain things with the character. I, I, like I said, um, I and I, I want to put um, I want to put Grace Kelly, Kelly's character in here because I respect Grace Kelly. Um, I, I don't want to put her in here, even though she is a part of the film. I want to put her in here as respect for her because I don't want nobody to voice act her or nobody because Grace Kelly is an amazing, amazing actress. Um, but James Stewart, I'm going to literally try to find somebody to voice him and say, what's going on? Just doing this the whole time, looking at him, and then you're getting to see the whole perspective of everything. I think it's a great concept, a great thing that you can do. And it's, it, it's something fun. I think it's fun for not only the people, but the viewer and the game and the gamer, you're getting to sit, you're just sitting up here looking at windows, figuring out what they're doing. And then not only that, it's like the perspective, um, it goes from you telling, if you go to the other stereo, 
you're the main character of that story, like the piano player, you're that character walking around in the house, and you're going through his life every day. So it's something fun. I think that's something I would like to see and something I wouldn't play. So we're one though, people. That's it. Okay, Ryan. So I just want to clarify, um, because the question I got was a tall was a tell tall No, sorry, point, point and click. Oh. He kept yeah. telling me talk, he kept telling me point and click is gone tall tell is gone. I was like, shit. <laughs> oh. I mean doesn't have to change a lot. I have I had a different idea in mind, but me great minds think a lot. I like um Scott has the benefit of his film being from the four different point of views while mine what I'm wanting to do with the game is expand it a little bit. So you, um each time you play it, you can take one of the roles of the Sarai and it it gives some of their backstory. It expands on who they are. And it's part of taking control of them and getting them um, to the place where they can help the villagers and, you know, reach this climactic um, epic battle. Uh, because even if you haven't seen Seven Samurai, you felt its influence on the film industry. Everyone on this earth who's watched a movie has at some point seen a movie that was influenced by this. So to try to improve on it is such a monumental task. The only way I feel a game could do that is by expanding the background of these great characters and this great Akira Kurosawa film and letting you control their journey along the way. The nice thing about these movies that they're so old is not a lot of the audience has seen these movies. So a guy like me, I'm gonna play this game because I love the movie. Someone's going to pick this up that hasn't seen it, and they're not going to know which samurai to pick that's going to survive the to the end of the film. So it's a great way for them to discover it. I, I love all of our answers, by the way. It's going to be so hard to try to nitpick. But it it sounds like both of your games are just taking the movies, bringing them to the game, while my idea was to expand on it to give more background, to give more people. We'll get there. We'll get there. And that's it for me. All right. So because, I, like I said, this is a pitch round, and it gets really hard to watch people po poke holes in theoretical ideas over and over, right? So here's what I want. I want one reason for e why each of the other ones wouldn't work and one reason why yours would. Okay. And I will be starting with Scott. Okay. Uh, one reason rear window wouldn't work is because I mean, you're basically doing the whole thing from the perspective of a character who is stuck in a wheelchair and is only able to look in on it, it, it. The whole thing is about being a voyeur, and that doesn't really make for a very fun video game. Now, as for Seven Samurai, if you are expanding upon all of those other characters... This is already a three and a half hour long movie. This is going to be the longest point and click adventure game of all time. I feel like people will end up losing interest, which is unfortunate because this is a great story and it would make a really good and fun adventure, a point and click adventure game. But I do think it's going to turn off some of the audience. Whereas with mine, it's a fairly quick story. It's it's the same story essentially told three different times with three different perspectives. So you are getting three points of view. You are playing as three different characters' points of view, plus if you do the bookends with the, uh, the woodcutter. But the bulk of the game is from three different characters' points of view, and it allows for uh, different types of gameplay. That isn't just uh, point and click. Okay, it's my turn. Right. Correct. All right. Uh, God, um, I just want to say this is tough. Uh, so, so um, yeah, Rashomon, I admit that's a good pick. The reason it won't work is, um, there's plenty of games just like it, like um, like 
like um it, ace attorney does it well and ace attorney has so many different stories in it where yours is just going to be set on the same thing and people are going to get bored by it and then we're really going to say why don't I just go play um ace attorney that's the thing and I, it's just been done before so many times um as as for ryan um yours um it's another good choice but um i feel like dynasty warrior do it a little bit where the three different people does it i think that could be a better action game because dynasty warrior did it and i think if you were to attack that on as a dlc on dynasty warrior it would be fun my game yes more so like warrior yes you're looking in you're poking around but warrior didn't have a story you're just picking in on people where my my game you literally have a set story my film has the element of the story who doesn't want to play um rear window who doesn't want to be james dean with the glasses getting on on the mystery of what different people are going through different perspective. My film has to film and my film is basically set. It's already set to be a point and click. That's what makes my film, my pick the best. James what? Dean was dead for quite a while after. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> after the making of that, of that yeah, film. Yeah. 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 It uh, is you know, before the beginning of the film, I'm just going to say, yeah, 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 um, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Okay. So I just want to fact check that immediately. Yeah, yeah, he's dead. Yeah. I understand. Yeah. I understand. That's my fault. Um, so, Ryan? So, um, I, I just think the problem with Rear Window is, like Scott said, main characters in a wheelchair. You're just going to be limited to how interesting you can make it. And you're, you bring up, you have the story built in. You're putting your game into a box. You're limiting the story. Both, and I'll say this for Rashomon, you're putting both your games in a box. I love long games. I want to have a game that takes a lot of time. So I think that's why my game has more appeal. I'm willing to take that to expand a fi the film to make it longer. I want to get bang for buck. If I'm going to spend $60 on a game, I want to make sure... I'm playing that game for a long time and that it's interesting. And the seven samurai film is so rich and so detailed to flush it out and give it more just makes my cinema loving heart grow three times. I think it would be great for the film. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh... After listening to all those, um, rear window, while not impossible to do, would be incredibly hard to do because that's already a camera switch game, which is like Night Trap, which is stuff that already exists. So that wouldn't that would take away from the uniqueness of okay. it. Which I mean, you have to admit that does exist. That's a thing. Yeah, I admit, I admit that. Yeah. Um. I mean, the what what you said about Rashomon like being being hackneyed, I I don't I disagree with. But I mean, the idea of you you wanting to slim it slim down Rashomon then is something I don't like. Mm -hmm. Like so Ryan actually like him saying I'm going to make more of this game and put more around it is more in line of what you'd want in a point and click adventure. And none of you really said that the that Seven Samurai, like, you were like, oh, the length is a bad thing. It's like, well, do you know when the greatest point and clicks of all time is? Mist. How long does it take you to complete Mist? A <laughs> little while. <laughs> so. I still haven't completed it. <laughs> exactly. Let alone the sequel. Darn you, darn you, Scott. I, 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 darn you, Scott. I didn't say length. I said a different game, God. <laughs> um. So based off of that last one, I'm not gonna. Ha I am gonna have to give it to Ryan because he's. He, you guys tried to go. Oh, it's too long, and then he just said, I no, no, make I it long. Say long. I and didn't like, say long. I didn't say long notice. I said it's like it, it'll be better as a Dynasty Warrior, Dynasty Warrior plug-in. I did say that. That was Scott. 
Uh, yeah, I, I attack the length. Yeah, yeah I, 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 I wasn't saying length. that Rashomon should be shorter. I wasn't saying cut anything out. I, I, I did, I'm I did saying not it say is just length. by nature. I, I know mm. what a point and click supposed to be long, and I was like, crap, Scott, you said that. Darn it. <laughs> I was okay. cussing in my I was cussing in my in my mind. I was like, oh, Scott, he's gonna like that. I, I, I think I just threw the Dynasty Warriors thing out because we don't need another Dynasty Warriors game. <laughs> well, that's for you, any reason. That's, that's <laughs> you, but it just screw you, Scott. Hyrule <laughs> rulers exist. Gun there's a Gundam one. There's oh every dynasty. You should have made a stronger like, argument, Mac. Don't blame yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but you brought up the limbs. <laughs> well, no, with, with he made up a good point about the born, you know, the kind of being like, well, you're just going from camera to camera. Well, that's a thing already. No, well, that's a that's five that's nights at Freddy's. Five nights at Freddy's. Yeah, that's already a thing. People love this shit. God Almighty, I just made an argument for my film. But that's I not what this round was. <laughs> Yeah. So, Ryan, you, 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 good job. You sold me on a movie I already love. <laughs> hey. well, see, that not, is trip I would be willing to make if we could get like a big screen to watch Seven Samurai. I would drive up with you, Zach, to enjoy this is bull it. Crap. This is bullcrap, guys. Hashtag goat rings. <laughs> Hashtag don't be a sore loser. Hashtag oh ring. Nah, nah, nah. Nah, nah, uh, nah guys, that was that was good. I, I, I was trying to I was trying to find ways to argue against um Rashomon and Seven Sam. I was like, dang it, this is yeah, it's hard to argue. I, 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 I really said, love them. Uh, uh, both I don't think I'd ever mentioned it to you, Ryan, but the the jackpot answer was of course uh Fritz Lang's Metropolis. Mm. I am so oh, glad I did man. not. Play. Man, I yeah. wish. I, oh God, the idea of playing that game. <laughs> I am so glad I didn't go. With, I, I'm so glad I didn't go with my backup answer when Scott picked. Um, I was going to go with his favorite one, which was actually it's my favorite Hitchcock film, thanks to him, North by Northwest. Um, oh, I was about to pick that one, but it wouldn't be a good point and click. <laughs> Actually, no, thank you. So, but, Angie, you have any? Uh, you have any thoughts on these games? Um. I was kind of interested listening to Mac explain how a rear window would work, just because I do kind of find game styles like that a little interesting. I would think, though, that he probably would have sold me on it a little bit better personally for me if he had, like, brought up, like, if you go to each individual person, you kind of live their life and you can, like, find... If you would have been able to control them, maybe. I, that I, did say that. I did say that. I did say that. Mark. No, you said you'd be able to go to them. You didn't say what you'd be able to do. I said you could control them. I did say that. Okay. I did say that. If you remember, <laughs> I did say that. Uh, yeah, yeah. You exactly. probably did. I just probably. Yeah, you did. Know. Yeah, yeah. I did say that. I did say that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. Write stuff down, Zach. <laughs> and I really like the idea of Rashomon being like a point yeah. and click game, just like having the four different. That's like, such a great idea. In. Like that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna rewatch Rockman when I'm done with it. I, I feel like that there so should long. be if if they if they were gonna make a seven samurai, they should make a Rashomon first so they can get the style. Down. Listen, right. listen, listen, yeah. listen, people. I'm gonna just say it right now. Watch all these films. Watch all of them. <laughs> yep. Especially, especially Rear Window. I, I think all them. three of these movies are on Criterion. So just wait for a good sale, and these are well worth the Criterion collection. Yes, it is. It is. And if you're you're cheap, they are well worth your bootleggery as well. Yeah, you can watch. You can watch. Um, also, watch, also, also, it's the also fun fact. It's the only Hitchcock film to get a remake that actually is good. Disturbia wasn't bad. I was gonna say Rear Windows reference in so much like animated shorts and everything. I mean, do y'all disagree? Well, I mean, one of my favorite episodes of The Simpsons is a reference to Rear Window. Yeah, I love that episode. Yeah. God, that's pretty so uh, that leaves us with Scott one, Mac one, Ryan Ryan two, mm -hmm. and uh, Mac one. So I don't. What what, what do the rules dictate now? <laughs> Isn't there, wouldn't those two do a tiebreaker to take me on? Right? Yeah, mm -hmm. I do yeah. not have a question. Yeah. Angie, do you have a question? Angie, come up uh, with a question. Oh, guys, okay. Um, let's see. Okay, pick. Think of a video game, both of you. Pick, think of one of your favorite video games. Um, 
I'm just gonna Super Mario three. Okay. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm so scared. Yeah. Mega Man three. All right, now I want you guys to think of that game and pick. One of the directors that you said was the worst director. I want you guys to pick one of those directors and try and make that movie work with one of those directors and explain oh, he it. Can, okay. Who goes first? Uh, call it. Call it. Matt. Matt. Call it. <laughs> Head. It is Tails. Okay. Go ahead. All right, so I mean, the obvious answer is Rocky Morton and Annabelle Jankel taking on. No, 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 well, no, no. Well, no, I, 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 I made. Did, it, I thought it sounded like that you guys. Could oh, pick I have to pick my director. Yeah. You, you can pick any any of the bad directors. No, no, you can pick any of the any directors. Of, yeah. Oh, oh, there you go. Yeah, you yeah, can pick no, any no, of the directors, ahead, and you just got to make any of those directors work with that game that you thought right, and right, make it into right, a movie. Right, right, right. Go ahead. Ooh. Okay, so mine will be a direct sequel to the Super Mario Brothers movie starring Bob Hoskins. It will have to have been made several years ago, seeing as Bob Hoskins is no longer with us. But it'll be an older version, because everyone loves the older version. It'll be like an old man Logan version of this movie. But now Super Mario is able to turn into a raccoon person, and he's able to turn into a frog person. And there will be an underwater scene, and uh, Big Bertha will come back from the original movie. He's gonna use his uh, his crazy boots, and it's it's just gonna be a crazy movie. I want to see this back on Trey Rick. <laughs> 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 okay, um, I guess it's my turn. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right, um, I'm going with Annabelle and um, Craig, Craig, what's his name? Um, I'm going with them too because they know how to make robotics. Cyberpunk, cyberpunk. Um, their cyberpunk antics can fit with Mega Man. I mean, it, it would it would be. Uh, awesome mashup because robotics and Mega Man, they can work with it. They can get a good actor. I don't know who could play Mega Man. I think they could probably get, uh, 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 obviously they're going to get, uh, let's just say they're going to get somebody sorry. They're going to probably get uh, like Jet Li to play Mega Man because he can move and swoop and everything. Um, also, um, he'll, you can get all the characters. He's They're going to make uh, it fits what they're doing. Eight, all the robots are weird. You got Needle Man. You got um, Shadow Man, which is a ninja. Snake Man. You got Spark Man. Heart Man. Magnet Man. Gemini Man. All those characters will come together. Also, they can do an evil doctor, obviously, with the character, with Dr. Wiley. They're going to make them awesome. It fits well with them and their style. It fits their style. That's all I have to say. Okay. Okay, uh, since I'm in control here, I'm going to say, Ryan, you pick one. Well, uh, a game? No, no, you pick out of those two. Who? Oh, okay. oh sure. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, ah, oh, jeez. I feel like I got to give it to Scott because he is giving these two a chance to redeem themselves, in my eyes, in, but in his eyes, to continue their strange and weird journey that is the super mario brothers so i don't and i just i just lean towards that more than the mega man idea because you're having them establish it let somebody else establish mega man okay i can respect that answer okay. okay. is that the only one you're gonna pick yeah i, I would need, i mean yeah i you're picking. You're picking. You're picking. You were gonna pick Scott. It doesn't matter. I was gonna lose this fight. You like uh, no, that's not the one I would have picked. That's why I wanted to have Ryan do it. Yeah, you were gonna pick Mega Man. No, I, yeah, I, I know. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I do. But that's I wanted to see if Ryan would agree. Uh, so now that we are that down, makes you, to... that makes me feel better that you would have picked me. That makes me feel better because I was like, I thought my pitch was straight on. I was like, wow, that was pretty good. It was a good pitch. Yeah, yeah. I thought I had it. I was like, wow. If it's it's when you just started naming bosses <laughs> instead of ideas that you lost me. Okay. Yeah. I knew I lost when he said Annabelle. I was like, crap, that is just continuing on Mario. And I couldn't uh, disagree. Uh, with all it. right. So, Scott, Ryan. That? So. Wait, does that mean Max judging now? No. Yeah. Well, yeah. No, you are. 
Oh, I'm you're part of, you're part yeah, of the judging. I'm judging. Yes. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's it's my question. I don't care. <laughs> Remember, you know how to do it. I do. No, no, it's not your question. No, oh, I, it is. No, it's not. You got you got to follow the rules of PvP. I don't. Yes, you do. Who here it's says his, I have to follow the rules of PvP? Like right now, it's his game. <laughs> or did he say specifically? And I quote, "Yeah, Mark, you game gave him the reins at the beginning." So. And here's a okay, okay. All right. oh, no, 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 no. Do it, do it. Okay, y'all gonna play the piper. Go ahead. I was trying to help you out. I was trying to help you out because I know y'all want to know what I think of. Okay. Name a video game storage format. Ha ha ha. What? <laughs> what do you mean, like, like DVD, <laughs> cartridge? Bingo. Okay, okay. Um, ha, the, ha, ha. Uh, the C, okay, it's the hard drive, the two the two terabyte hard drive I bought for my Xbox One to expand the size, I guess. The C, I'd have to look up the, like, it's it's the green one that I, I bought for Christmas. It has two terabytes of storage that I just have to go with my Xbox One. Mm-hmm. Okay. I don't understand this question. <laughs> I am. So and I you am... Don't understand this question? I don't know what the question is. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> well, he wants you to think of a storage device. Like a I'm gonna, card? I'm gonna go with web-based cloud. <laughs> Zach, am I, am I saying like count? a? Does that count? I mean, okay, like cartridges, physical Blu-rays, di- discs. Oh. Okay, the, uh, I'm gonna roll this back. <laughs> I got now, really Scott, oh. you, get first, you you do get to pick first, Scott, just because yeah. Ryan, you, you did say something that you know could yeah. potentially be used, but yeah, Scott. I wanted to make sure it was right. um, Blu-ray. All right, now Ryan, you get to pick again, just because you know. I was so confused with this question. <laughs> Um, I guess they're modified micro SD cards, the ones that they use for the Switch. Uh, okay. I this now, uh, call it near. Tails. Uh, it is heads. I will go second. Okay. And the question is, how would you make a movie with that, the main character, what the, would the movie be? Exactly. <laughs> Wait, Say ha, it again. Your ha, Blu-ray ha. is now the main character. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> like, like, we're talking of any... like Secret Life of Pets, to- to- Pixar's Toys. We're going oh, like ooh. that. Okay. I tried to, I tried to All right. Five. So it's a Blu-ray <laughs> as that's alive. <laughs> All right, this is going to be like The Matrix, but meets Wreck-It Ralph. Essentially, every time this Blu-ray is put into another uh, system or Blu-ray player, he is entering a new world. He's entering a different virtual reality of whatever is also a part of that system. So if he's put into a PlayStation 3, he's interacting with all of the PlayStation 3 characters. If he's in uh, just a regular Blu-ray player, he's interacting with whatever Blu-rays have also been inside that Blu-ray player. Now, if he's on a Blu-ray, DVD, and VHS player, he's getting all kinds of crazy movies that they don't even make for Blu-ray anymore. So it, it's it's kind of like a little bit uh, The Matrix, a little Johnny Mnemonic, a little Wreck-It Ralph. <laughs> Ryan, you have an idea? I have an idea. I had an idea, and I quickly had to scrap the idea because great minds think alike. <laughs> but I have the idea now. I uh, want room service! <laughs> we are talking about a silly, romantic, animated comedy where we are in Nintendo land, where all the little Switch cartridges are going around trying to find the Switch of their dreams, and they're trying to differentiate themselves from the market. All of the Super Mario Switch cartridges, they already got their Switches. 
we're following uh, we're following a rabbit's cartridge that no one it's going to be a heartwarming movie about like Wreck-It Ralph learning to accept who you are and in the end the cartridge is going to get the switch that the cartridge was made for and it's going to be about them finding each other god i need to see this movie <laughs> I'm going to wreck it. <laughs> <laughs> that works in too mouth. many contexts there. Yeah, it does. Um, Scott, your, your, your rebuttal. Damn you, Zach. That's a fucked up question. <laughs> <laughs> you should have known better when I said it. You should have known it. better. I warned you, Ryan. I warned you. I told you you got a question. Love it. It got the brain juices really revving up. I warned you. Okay. So my idea is a lot more open with a lot more uh, potential. Yours is limited to just other switches, essentially. So you're just interacting in the Switch world. Mine are able to interact with movies, video game movies, just all kinds of crazy stuff, uh, video games. And it's, it's a whole different universe. So you get to... You get all these different DVD-looking characters or Blu-ray-looking characters, but they have the personalities of the movies and the video games that they have inhabited. And yours is... I mean, it's just... It's not a, It's not even as good-looking uh, a format. Like, it's just like a little square card. I've got this shiny blue see-through DVD. That's all I got. <laughs> 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 Ryan. So how based on how you described it, the disc has to be in the system. So if the disc isn't in the system, it's just chilling in its box. So it's only gonna really interact with whatever system it's in. It's not gonna interact with other So it's based on the apps that are downloaded, whereas mine, I'm giving the opportunity for my rabid um um little switch to interact with other little switch cartridges and communicate. And I embrace that it, it's gonna be weird and it's gonna be silly. When you're making a movie about the something as crazy as this, it has to be silly. And mine, I feel like is a well-contained, tight story that works, whereas yours, the, you have these great ideas, but you can't fit them into a, like a nice 90, 95 minute film, whereas mine, you can wrap it in a nice bow and it has a good message. Sorry, I just wanted to ring the bell. Yeah, no, I was going to say it was time. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um uh before I have these uh, these other two deliberate, um name your film, please. You know, I don't do that. Don't make them do that. I, I, I am. Hey, like you are. You I, want to, I want to hear these answers, I'm man. Not, I, I, yeah, no, I got one. I got one. I Scott. Okay, okay. Let's hear this. Scott has one. Shit. Oh, this is going to be terrible. <laughs> Johnny Blue Monic. <laughs> I'm sorry. I immediately <laughs> apologize. <laughs> no, that was perfect, Scott. That was perfect, Johnny Blumani. A switch to take home. A true love story. <laughs> okay, so, uh, Max, so we get your horrible, horrible opinion out of the way. What was your choice? <laughs> uh, my opinion. Um, so, let me go ahead and go over this. Scott, yours sounded like um, Rick and Morty, uh, not Rick and Morty, uh, uh, a regular show, the episode where they're all getting the DVDs together and doing all this stupid stuff, and they're all coming there like, I am I am 8 track. I love that episode. <laughs> I love that episode, too. Uh, Ryan, yours sounded like Rick and Ralph. And c combined, with the, combined with the Emoji movie, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm going with, I, I gotta go with Scott. <laughs> I, just, I, I have to go with it. It just sounded so ridiculous. The name Johnny Blue Monic. Yeah, that's gonna be that. You're gonna get sued. <laughs> you're getting sued. Um, I, I bet it, I, I have to know if um if does it have no 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 nope. not yet. Thank you. I'll tell you, the Angie. End. <laughs> 
Um, <laughs> listening to both of these, all I could think of was Toy Story and The Little Brave Toaster. <laughs> and while thinking of these, <laughs> I kind of want to go with Scott's choice. <laughs> it just sounds... I mean, Ryan, your sounds just as ridiculous too, and I would love to see it, but I don't know. It's just with that title with Scott's, I just got to see it. <laughs> uh, well, it, they have spoken. What would they, they, run, they run it. For the record, Ryan, I would have picked yours. Well, I knew you would have picked yours. That's okay, because his Scott's has the potential for other systems, whereas mine. It's just switches. I can't put mine into I mean, others. that is true. I mean, you could put a sub subplot of somebody trying to – that one of the swi switches was, that is being used as being jailbroke or something. Literally, mm -hmm. as Scott was saying his pitch, my pitch was having to change because my pitch was going to be that. Wow. <laughs> I forgot to say page master. There's also a little page master in my If you yeah, said that, I would have I would have definitely picked Brian. So now <laughs> – so, <laughs> so, do we have to do another round because I had a point over Scott, or do we? Or no, no, no that that was the final. Okay, that's fine. That was great. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> now, now, uh, now, Scott, I will watch. I want to know this. Um, um, I want to know this one thing. Um, do you literally have who's going to be playing Blu-ray? I want to know. Is it Keanu Reeves? I mean, it has to be, right? Yeah, it has to be Keanu Reeves. <laughs> And, and I and I really want um I gotta have Ice T in there. Ice T gotta be doing some stupid stuff. I, I want him to be the PlayStation One for some odd reason. I will say I want my, LL Cool J in mind for the deep blue would scene. Have been, oh. My little switch would have been Michael J. Fox because that man is a great voice actor. Yeah, he but is. I would he is, but I still would have loved G, uh, just just just, yeah. I just I just I just picture it because I was just sitting there screaming it. I want. Row service. I want <laughs> <laughs> just shout like I put down your dick, and then I can just literally see uh, Ice T as a black DVD saying, "I run this." <laughs> how, how do you forget about Henry Rollins and Dolph Lundgren in that movie? Ah, crap! I don't know, <laughs> but I don't want to. I don't want to. Ooh, I want Henry Rollins in my movie just because uh, Henry Rollins and everything. Can we get <laughs> Sylvester Stallone? <laughs> no. <laughs> Henry Rollins. We're talking about the greatest no, I'm re I'm actor and but, actor but, slash musician ever. So yeah, I mean, Demonic was a crazy film. You had Dolph Lundgren literally thought he was Jesus. And no, <laughs> Henry Rollins was in the original. Oh, he was. Yeah, he played the hacker dude Spider. Ah, <laughs> Got, like Henry Rollins has been in so many. Out there, movies. Can we talk about Dolph Lundgren in that film? Because he was crazy. <laughs> yes, he was. He was. I was All like, right. Well, no. Before we do, let's congratulate Scott. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you have won both of your both the jealousy and shame of your peers. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, look! I didn't yell. I didn't scream. I wasn't angry. I, mean, I'm actually, I actually had. I mean, they they will be. Max, so I, mean, okay. I mean, huh? were, I mean, they will be sending you uh, their tears in a jar shortly. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I, I mean, I don't know what the what the legal ramifications of that are, but I just said it, and I didn't lose, so I don't care. Um, <laughs> Hey, okay. hey, all these are great fighters. Um, and uh, Scott, uh, Scott, you did a good job. Um, and as for you, Zach, <laughs> hey, you gave me this much power. Yeah, yeah. This is the last time you get this much power again. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you might get you not did, true. Nah, you did good. I, I give credit. You did good. I, 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 credit. I thought it was gonna get worse. <laughs> Oh, all right. So you plenty so you, of time for that. You want me to take over, or you want to do it? No, no, no. Uh, so, Scott, <laughs> as the winner, what do you have going on that you'd like to plug, if anything? Uh, well, I've got a short film that's doing uh, like the Jersey short film circuit. It's called Preparation. It's a horror <laughs> short film. I wrote it, and uh, I'll be tweeting about it when it's uh, when it's premiering, when it's out there. Hopefully, you can work with Jordan okay. Peele. <laughs> yeah, cool. 
<laughs> That'd be awesome. <laughs> I know this guy. <laughs> um, and Ryan, uh, are you up to anything these days? Um, I'm about a month away from being done with community college, getting that stupid degree, and I'll be going in the fall. And I'm gonna start the process of film school. I'm super stoked about that. My first class is. It's a two-hour class twice a week where we watch a movie and then discuss it. So, nice. who doesn't want to do that? <laughs> Wait, you have to pay for that? That sounds wrong. I know. I mean, you, like you can literally rabbit that entire thing. <laughs> yeah, but no, um, I can't. But is this going to air before or after my my champion? This, this is after. This is after. This is going to be season five. Okay, so holy crap! I can't wait for that. God. Now I know I'm the champion. Let's see if I'm able to hold that belt. Thank God for this fight to get me back into it because that was my fear of going into the championship fight was, oh my gosh, it's been months since I've done this. So, so what is the new fear that has replaced that fear? And you're forgetting that. Also, just let you know, Scott does have the source code and he can use it at any time during that championship fight. Yeah, Mac, I feel like you're dropping some heavy hints. <laughs> oh, uh, I not am, to mention, uh, uh, technically, I have last rights and I can take a shot. Yes, he can. And next week, <laughs> uh, next <laughs> time. <laughs> Yes, and and then the next two episodes, and and not only that, the next episodes and the future episodes, you're gonna be starring in some future episodes. So I can let him. He all he gotta do is give me a ring and. Yeah, well, this is gonna be super exciting. I can't wait. Everybody in the future, I wonder what happened. I did stab that guy. That is true. In the middle of the night, I stabbed him. Yeah. To watch, just to watch him die. <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> like, oh god, I'm dying. <laughs> just like that guy of um that guy on um on on my favorite film, um Mom Kiss Goodnight. I'm dying here. Somebody call ambulance. Continue dying over. <laughs> 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 All right. So Angie, what are you up to? Um, I'm still doing my school stuff for game art design that's going well i'm streaming on mixer which is all kinds of fun and i'm doing the show with you guys which is even more fun yay <laughs> you are aware that you that you know you don't have to kiss my ass you have to kiss his but uh, you know, <laughs> no i'm not it, i'm not doing that just saying that. if you if you I wanted to, to throw some fun. insults on the show that's Perfectly fine. <laughs> uh, so no, I'm saving that for you know the big fight. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right. So uh, now, uh, what what is my what is the uh, lesser host? Uh, what is he? What is his? What are his thoughts? Uh, my <laughs> thoughts are if <laughs> you. Um, do you have anything to pitch other than the show? Um, I, I have something to pitch. It's called um, "You're in the Game." And I get to be, and I get to literally put you in a corner. You're actually the Mortal Kombat game, and I get to punch you every time. I, I'm sorry, that was uh, not in the form of a question. Uh, oh, uh, um, uh, <laughs> that's what I want to do. Uh-huh. So, I, uh huh. So, no, seriously though. Uh yeah, but guys, uh yeah, guys, I'm at Pool, aka uh, the Gang Fixers. Um, I, I run the channel here. I run this. You know, Zach think he does. I run this. I don't think I do. <laughs> I know I don't, so I can do whatever I want. <laughs> but no, but seriously, uh, this is a good fight. I had so much fun doing this. Um, uh, uh, Mike Ryan, I felt bad about uh, me getting into the, um, getting ready for some fights in the future. It's good to get the rust, rust, the rust clearly off. Um, this is something fun I love doing. I always wanted to show my movie trap props in this. Um, I felt like um, these are great. These are great. Two great competitors to go against. And as much as Zach talked trash about me, I'm not easy mode. I'm actually pretty tough. Am I, guys? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> easier in guided tutorial. I mean, are, are pretty pretty simple. Really, really, okay. <laughs> you you barely you barely won against me in that Mega Man fight. So don't. Focus oh yeah, I know. You mean the first fight I ever did? Yeah, yeah. the first, no, the second fight, the second fight. Man, we just need to get Mac fixated on one thing. Oh yeah, I mean, on that one just, thing. 
Oh, one, once he, once you get him thick, like fo- once he started talking about McConaughey, McConaughey. it was over. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that question was over. <laughs> but once I got, but but the second one, they were trying to get the uh, Zach. I know, um, I know Scott was trying to get me focused on the filmography, and I literally floated back and said, "Wait a minute, we're talking about games, not movies." And I was like, "Turn it down." He tried to do that, <laughs> but it didn't work. I, I flipped the pencil. I flipped my pencil. Oh crap! Um, I got all right. Anything. So, but guys, I... um, uh, guys, I got so much stuff is rotten. Let's make it better. Um, this um, enemy around me, which we're trying to pick up, but we're probably going to push it to the next season. Um, um, the year the academy died, um, um, we're going to try to get um, a Ryan on Wizard Rotten. He want to come on the episode and guest star on the episode of Is It Rotten? We might get him on the Tech Podcast, not the Tech Podcast, GF One Podcast. Also, uh, also we got Mega Mania coming out, GF One News. Um, yes, I'm naming that. I named it Angie. I'm sorry. Um, okay. That's okay. Uh, and, oh, it isn't okay. You guys should fight about it later. <laughs> <laughs> also, um, we have um, another show that's coming out. Um, Fixers commentary where I take any where I take anybody who wants to literally finally just go over any episode, anything that I any content that I did on the game fixers, <laughs> any content, and they can just sit with me and literally tell me and I'm we're gonna you, MST three K our own content. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and I'm gonna get a guest on there that just wanna talk about that one item like Mac, why did you wear this Batman? Because it was funny. Okay. Um, um, stuff like that, but yeah, yeah, that's what we got going. Uh, on and just... join the Discord, which should be in the link. Join the Discord now, now, because somebody has to, please. Yes, join it. <laughs> join the Discord, and also, um, we got a website up at GF1 Studios. So go, go, go look uh, at that page. We got so much content. We got photos of the old stuff. Come on, people, we got photos and you unused photos. I we should see. have more than photos at that point. Yeah, we, we're going to have more photos because it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Okay. So uh, I'm Zach. You'll find me at Backwards Brains Labs on YouTube. And you'll find me here or you'll find me complaining about anime. I'm going to try and do at least like a once a week vlog of my thoughts as well. But I'll still be doing the monthly anime reviews. Uh, I don't know what it's going to be this month, but it looks like it's going to be Seven Deadly Sins. Like that's what it really looks like. Seven so. Deadly Sins is good. It's good. I know that's what you voted for. I voted for it. It's good. <laughs> You're Same. Right. It's the, good. Name. the name. Go, yep. Clicking on that one. Yeah, no. yeah. My, yeah, Angie, Angie agrees with me. It's a good scene. It's good. Well, you will find out if I like it or I do not. Here's I don't it. think you'll like it. You <laughs> <So. laughs> might. might. Yeah, but you got to think. Zach, it might be time... one of those guilty pleasures that he enjoys. Mm. <laughs> hey, yeah. there, hey, I like Yuri on Ice just fine. Oh, okay. So I mean, it's not like I'm exclusive. I need exclusively hardcore dark stuff. It's just that's why I tend to gravitate towards. All right. <laughs> well. All right. Look, well, that's it. Yeah, that's all I got. All right, guys. Well, I'm taking over. Yeah, Zach, screw you. I'm taking over. Okay, guys. Thank you for watching. We'll see you on the next grudge. Thank you for watching. Gamer Grudge goes to the movies. You don't want to use that title, don't you, Zach? Oh no, definitely not. What's your title then? I don't have one right now, but it by <laughs> default it's going to be better. <laughs> uh, okay, well, I think that's a good title, so screw you. Bye guys. We'll see you. And I should have won. Yeah, I yes, I know. Um, uh, yes, I know. I should have won that last round. It's okay. Bye. <laughs>